Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to connect FlySky receiver with flight controller. Uh, so, uh, in this video, we will use FSIA6B uh, FlySky receiver. This is a six channel receiver and we will we'll use uh, three jumper wire. This flight controller and we have, one tr we have one transmitter. So, let's proceed with that. So here we have a number of connectors. The last rail is uh, ground. The second one is VCC, and third third rail is uh, third rail is for signals. The signal name is given here. So this is the uh, this rail is for signals. Two vertical connectors are there. So that connectors are like uh, sense and servo. So we will be using this connector for uh, connecting the FlySky with our flight controller. We'll connect these two wires here. Okay, that looks like okay. It is going, and so like uh, this, we have to connect. This first is ground, second is VCC, and the last one is a signal. So we'll connect one more. So we'll connect one more jumper there. Okay, and one more thing. I I am just showing the jumpers here. But we can't use jumpers uh, when we are uh, using in this uh, flight uh, when we are using on uh, the cord or FPV. So this is for just a demo purpose. I am showing here. Okay, here I have connected this the third line. This third line I have connected here to the RX3. Okay, so this is how connection I have done. Ground 5 volt RX3. And here, first is ground. So here, first is ground. Second is uh, five volt, and third is a signal. That is RX3. So now we will see the beta flight. How to config configure the uh, receiver? So open the beta flight configurator. Connect the board. So after connection. Uh, you will see some uh, you will see some settings here uh, you just have to select the com port the baud rate will be fixed so click on connect after connecting the flight controller so yeah our flight controller is connected uh, you can see the orientation we can see the movement of the flight controller uh, in the in this window okay so now we we'll, uh, so now we'll see how to configure the receiver so go to the ports as we have connected data line to the rx port of uh, ur3 so enable the so enable the uh, serial rx from here and click on save and reboot okay click on connect again so after configuring the ports, we'll go in configuration, and from this receiver window, select the select this option, serial based receiver, yes bus, and again from here select the I bus. Okay. So after doing the setting, again uh, click on save and reboot. So after rebooting, click on connect again. So we'll go in the receiver and we'll check whether we are receiving any data from trans from transmitter or not. So let's turn on the transmitter. Okay. As you can see, uh, we are receiving data from transmitter. I'm changing this roll to 100 and you can see here animation also changing okay and i'm changing the pitch the animation is also changing so here as well so upper six channel only we can use 
if you want to use uh, 10 channels we just have to update the firmware but that firmware is not official we have successfully completed the binding and you can receive the data for all the channels so thank you for watching video please like share and subscribe for the channel for more videos